So look, bro, y'all know what time it is. It's time for another Jaguar show, another unboxing. We're going to be doing some original art. All right, some fantastic stuff. This is something I've been really excited for. All right, and I'm going to be showing you that stuff right now. All right, let's do this. So here's the package, man. This is the big one. Holy crap, man. This thing is so dope, dude. Nice. All right. Here it is, y'all. <clears throat> my boy, Killmonger. Man, y'all know what time it is. This is a great piece of art, man. I really love this thing. So if you guys know, man, here it is. This is from uh, Killer California Blends, man. You guys been watching this channel. You guys know I rock with it, man. And uh, this is definitely one of my favorite pieces from her now. Uh, jumbo giant size. I really love the detail, the, the the forehead, man. It looks so aggressive. The the face, it looks really aggressive, like he's ready to go, man. This is an amazing work of art. I really appreciate this. Um, I think this is the work with like acrylic paint on the stuff. Uh, she created this on September 2nd of this year. John 316, that's what she marked on her thing. And that's cool, man. That's my number, man. Not just because I'm a Stone Cold Steve Austin fan, but... I'll but also because that was my roster number when I was in basic training. I was roster number 316. And, uh, and this is really dope, man. I love it. I appreciate this. This is awesome. Now, let me show you guys some previous artwork from Gabby. So, I bought this from her over the summer. This is uh, Mira, of course. I really love this one. This was a super dope painting of Mira. Look at that. It looks so nice. It pops. The colors pop. And uh, she looks like she's ready to start doing some te aqua telekinesis. And this was an A. Whoa! It's good. It's good. It's all good. And this was an A OK from a boy, uh, Geeks. He uh, purchased this from California Blends and then she shipped it out to me. And if y'all guys recognize, this is the logo, baby. This is the logo of the channel. Cause y'all know I'm a big Killmonger fan. I really do like him. I like his history, and I really like the evolution of the character. I like that the character keeps leveling up. It's so interesting, and there's like so much to this character. There's still a lot of stuff that is unknown about him, but he's kind of a revolutionary, right? If you got you got thought different thoughts of school. If T'Challa is Martin Luther King Jr., Killmonger is. Malcolm X by any means necessary all right now I don't really consider him a hero I consider him a tragic hero I feel like I, a lot of people do relate with him because he pretty much spoke the American experience of inner city people right it, people who live in the inner cities they live in this culture of poverty they live the street culture I feel like he was a representative of them uh, of that mentality and stuff like that that frustration of being caught up in in, in the system and being caught up in, in, in the same rut where you're trying to do everything you can to succeed and when odds are all against you man one of the things that I did like about the movie was at the end of the day what kind of did change their mind what kind of said you know we, we could probably do a little bit more for these people we could probably do a little bit more and stop being selfish and just being contained all this and try to make some moves to change the lives of the people who actually live in the streets if we would have been more involved then we could have probably prevented somebody like Killmonger to exist because in a way their lack of action created Killmonger right and that's just my little spiel on Killmonger and why I think Killmonger is so cool and why I like him if you guys want to see a more in-depth analysis about Killmonger y'all let me know I, I got time baby I got time and uh, I also wanted to show you guys this original piece of art right here by Juan Ferreira this is from Killmonger number five but Brian Hill and this is an amazing one. I've shown this before. There's a video for it if you guys are interested in seeing uh, why, what's going on in here. This is basically uh, Killmonger losing his soul to the hate and the revenge, all right? And I just wanted to show you that again. Any opportunity that I get to show my art that I have purchased, then I will. And I really love this piece, all right? So I love this piece. 
I also wanted to show you guys one more piece. So my little niece came over, uh, she came out over about a couple weeks ago. So I decided to do a little painting project with her. And we did this. Alright. So she did Mini, I did the Mickey. Honestly, I think I like hers a little bit better. She started pretty good, then she got a little crazy with the red. Now she, Mini looks like a vampire, like she's just like out for blood and stuff. But actually, this is pretty good for a four-year-old. I'm not gonna lie, this is really good. So uh, that's just a little treat from the niece, man. Uh, something that I enjoyed. So uh, thanks again, Gabby. Thanks again for the killer kill monger. Flawless victory. I put it up. Right meow. Perfect. Man, that looks ill. It looks super sick, man. So aggressive, man. Hell yeah. Killmonger for life. Wakanda forever, man. All right. So thank you guys for coming in. You guys, uh, thank you. I appreciate you guys. Don't forget to hit like on the way out. All right. I'm going to keep doing my thing. You guys keep doing your thing and stay true to yourselves. I